accounting for monetary items. If there are foreign currency monetary items on the books at the end of the financial year, these are translated using the closing rate, i.e. the spot exchange rate at the end of the reporting period. Any exchange differences shall be recognised in profit or loss. Which leads us to our first example to demonstrate how this works. In this example, Company A purchases 100,000 US dollars worth of inventory. Company A's functional currency is Aussie. The order occurred on the 12th of June. The shipment and the title passed on the 15th of June. Their financial year is the 30th of June and Company A finally pays its supplier on the 12th of July. One thing I like to do, and this becomes much more useful when we start looking at hedging, which is not in this video, is to draw up a timeline. I find it helps me identify when things occur much more easily than seeing it written on a page. We can safely ignore the 12th of June because Company A doesn't recognize the asset until the 15th. On the 15th, Company A will recognize the inventory and the payable in the usual fashion, but the amount is in question. To convert the foreign currency, the USD, into the functional currency, the AUD, we use the spot exchange rate of 0 0.9603, which gives us a value of 104,134. At the end of the financial year, the payable is still on Company A's books. But as the Aussie dollar has weakened, down from 0 0.9603 to 0 0.9133, the original AUD amount will have changed, even though the debt is still 100,000 US. Using the closing rate, we find that the payable is now $109,493, which is an increase of 5359 As this is a monetary item, any change goes to profit or loss, and in this case, it's a loss. The supplier is paid 100,000 US on the 15th of July, which equates to 108,542 Aussie, and that's using the spot rate for that day. As the Aussie has strengthened slightly from 0 0.9133 to 0 0.9213, Company A can recognize a small gain of 951, and then it records the payment to the supplier. If you want, you can combine these two entries.